Hi, I'm Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this month's Project of the Month, our So Easy Touch Chatelaine. You have completed digitizing your design in the Floriani software, and now we are ready to stitch it onto our Chatelaine pieces and construct our Chatelaine. Let's get started. I want you to look at your So Easy Touch Pad with its electronic ribbon. This is supplied to you by your dealer. You can purchase a kit that has the touchpad in it as well as instructions on how to ins put it in a garment as well as doing our chatelaine here today. I want you to take a close look at the So Easy touchpad. You'll notice it's got six white circles on it. These circles are pressure points. You just touch them. They're very sensitive and they will control our iPod our stop, our pause, our play, all those buttons we mark, this will now control our iPod just by a light pressure on them. I have included a pattern for your dealer to put together so you can trace that off. It is a PDF file and it comes in three pieces. You will print two of each piece because we have two halves that we tape together after creating our sections. Because this is 48 inches long, to make it cost effective, I went ahead and broke it up and printed it on 8.5 by 11 sheets of paper. It will be very clear on how to tape this pattern together. We'll tape each section together, and then we will go ahead and tape the two long sections together so that we have a complete pattern for our shuttling. I want you to take your fabric. I used upholstery fabric because I wanted a little bit heavier fabric. Now we are going to cut this on the bias because this is going to hang around our neck. So we want it to drape rather than just kind of stick out there. So I have cut it on the bias and what I did is I cut two strips of fabric obviously wider than my, my pattern and I cut them on the bias and now I will lay my pattern on them. Now remember I'm cutting a front and a back so the pieces will be identical. Once I've laid my pattern out, I am going to trace around my pattern. Since we are going to embroider on the front piece, we're going to trace that one out before cutting it because we don't want to handle and mess with the bias any more than we need to. And I'm going to trace it. I'm also going to lay my So Easy touch pad down and kind of mark where my little circles are going to go because I want to make sure when I put this design on the fabric it's going to line up perfectly with the pressure points on my So Easy touch pad. Also by tracing around it if we have any distortion in our design at all or we're a little bit off center we can readjust before we actually cut out our chatelaine front piece. You're going to print your design out that you just created in your Floriani software on template tear away. I want you to cut out around the design, peel away the backing, now it's nice and sticky. It's a repositionable adhesive. We're going to take that piece that has its X and Y and diagonal lines and we are going to line it up with where we have marked our chatelaine for our design pieces. So I'm going to stick that down and this way I'll be able to center it under my needle. We're going to go with, take Floriani's perfect stick and hoop it up. You're going to take your stiletto or a pin or a needle and score that paper. Pull it away. The paper is slick, so it's always slick side up. Pull it away, and now you're going to have a nice tacky surface to stick our fabric down to. We've got our template on top, so we can stick it down where it is centered in our hoop. We will then take it to our machine. Make sure we are centering our needle over the center on our template tearaway. Now remove your template tearaway. Do not stitch through it or it's yours forever. We're going to replace that with our heat and gone topper. We want to top our fabric so that our design will remain sitting up nicely on top of our fabric. We're going to stitch that out take it off of our machine and you can see here how nicely my So Easy touch pad is lining up with my design. I will remove my heat and gone from the top 
and I will now lay out my fabric and put my pattern back over trying matching up my lines that I have already traced so now I can cut out my top piece and my back piece make sure that you're you're cutting on the bias I will now turn my front piece of my chatelaine the one with the design I will turn it over onto the back I will line up my touchpad my so easy touchpad with the design that has been stitched out that's why I had you mark stop volume up volume down so you make sure you line it up with the right circle so our touchpad is going the right direction once I have it in place I will go ahead and pin it down along the edges very carefully now I want you to notice something very important this has an electronic ribbon coming out of it we will not stitch over that electronic ribbon we are going to stitch on top of this previous row of stitching stopping when we get to the electronic ribbon jump over it and continue stitching till you stitch your so easy touch pad down to your chatelaine we will do this stitching in a later step I now have my so easy touch pad pinned in place I'm going to wrap my electronic ribbon up and just tie something around it to hold it out of the way while I'm going to complete my stitching. I have decided to put a, a separating zipper on the inside of my chatelaine because it makes, me e it makes it easy for me to lay down my electronic ribbon flat and nice without worrying about stitching through it. Now of course you can put a casing in here and string it through the casing this just ensured me that I didn't stitch through my ribbon and it wasn't going to matter in my chatelaine so I took a separating zipper I want you to fold it in half and mark the center of that zipper I want you to fold your chatelaine front piece in half and mark the center of your chatelaine so that now the center back of your neck is would be the center of your chatelaine you're going to center that zipper along there and I want you to stitch this zipper in place in your chatelaine. You notice that now I have stitched it in place. I will be able to lay that electronic ribbon right down that and zip it up. So I've wrapped my electronic ribbon and zipped it up into my zipper where I don't need to worry about it getting caught and I'm now going to stitch down my so easy touch pad. Again you notice we do not stitch through the electronic ribbon we are going to make sure we stitch around it leaving that ribbon clear you can see now that we've got our touch pad stitched down of course the buttons are facing down because we're going to use the pressure points so make sure you have it stitched correctly then you're going to notice at the other end where my connector comes out you've got this laid out straight and you can see how the connector comes out right about I don't know half an inch down from that end of that connector I want you to stitch a buttonhole through here because you're going to need for that connector to be able to be put through to the right side so it can connect into your iPod if you stitch it up it'll just be encased in your chatelaine and you won't be able to get to the end so make sure you stitch your buttonhole measure down and stitch a buttonhole about half an inch down so you can pull that through once we've completed that I want you to have your pocket that we've cut 10 and 3 quarter inches by 4 inches wide I want you to fold down the top a quarter of an inch press it and then fold it down quarter of an inch again and press it we are going to line up our pocket on the right side of our back piece we have we're finished with our front piece now now we're going to take the back piece of our chatelaine laying it right side up I want you to put the wrong side of the pocket to the right side of the chatelaine and then I'm matching all your raw edges I want you to measure up from the bottom and stitch across so you have a pocket bottom so that your iPod or phone doesn't just go clear to the bottom of that chatelaine how far up you come to stitch will depend on the size of the device you're putting in the pocket I have an iPod touch 
so I came up a little bit and stitched so that my iPod touch wouldn't be so far down in the pocket I couldn't get to it but it would still be enclosed nicely in the pocket so measure your device just lay it on here and mark where you want your line to go across. I stitch across and I used a triple sti stitch so that I would make sure that that pocket had durability and wasn't going to wear out with my iPod going in and out of that pocket. Once you've stitched that down, I want you to see how I've stitched it very nicely across. And now we are going to take the front of our chatelaine and we're going to lay it on top of the back piece of our chatelaine. I want you to make sure that your touch pad is at one end and your pocket is at the other end because your, your iPod is going to be on one side of the chatelaine and your design is going to be at the other with your so easy touch pad. Once you have laid these down I want you to stitch with a quarter of an inch seam around it leaving an opening to turn this through. Now I left my opening along the back of my neck because once we turn this we're going to fold that in, press it, and we're going to top stitch around the edge of this chatelaine and if your fold isn't perfect or anything it's not going to matter because it's going to be under your hair where nobody's going to see it so go ahead and turn this through it's going to be a little difficult I turned mine like I say I used upholstery fabric and it took a little working to get this all through turned but once you get it turned make sure you clip your corners push your corners out have everything nice then I want you to fold in this opening press it very nicely and then you're going to take an edge stitch foot and top stitch around your chatelaine you are now done you can plug your iPod in or your phone and now you can get going in your sewing room. It makes it so easy to be able to control your iPod. This is wonderful in a jacket sleeve. Any kind of garment you can think of, you can put this in. You can get additional kits at your dealer. They will be carrying our iPod So Easy Touch Kits, and they will come with full instructions. So I want to thank you for coming to our Project of the Month, and I look forward to seeing you again next month. Enjoy your chatelaine. Yes.